Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we'll be making some wooden hand screw clamps, but with a twist. Check out the video! So what is the twist? When well, my recent resin video I actually made a casting with some uh, really nice burl and fantastic resin effects. So these two blocks will become jaws of this clamp. I think it will be the best looking clamp you have ever seen. If you want to check out the video on how I made the casting I'm just gonna link it up above and obviously down below. So go and check it out and then come back to this video. The first thing we need to do uh, we just need to clean these two blocks out and take them to correct size. And to do that, I'm just going to be using my miter saw. Okay, so our blocks are now ready, as you can see, they're more or less in the dimensions I'm going to need for this project. Now, as you know, uh, hand screw clamps, one basic design, but there's so many different ways that you can actually make them. I'm going to be using some dowel barrel nuts, uh, they look like this. Um, obviously my clamps are gonna be fairly small hence these are quite small as well these are only 16 millimeters by 10 millimeters so they are fairly small and with those a six millimeter um, threaded rod will work just fine but as I mentioned before this is only a tiny clamp and if you want this standard screw hand clamp you really need to go for something a little bit larger than this but for this particular project it will be absolutely fine so the next step is to drill the actual holes for the barrel nuts in these two blocks and obviously for the threaded rod as well so let's mark it up and let's go to the pillar drill to sort that out Right then, so the, all the holes are now pre-drilled in the block. So the ones that go like so for the barrel nuts, obviously, they are 10 millimeters in thickness to give a nice and snug fit. Yeah, so we've got that one inside. And now uh, we also pre-drilled the holes from top to bottom. And that's for the threaded rod to go through. So we can thread it through the barrel nut like so. And that's the basic setup but what we need to allow for these clamps to have a bit of a wiggle room so and um, the holes at the top and the bottom we're going to enlarge just slightly depending obviously on the size of your clamp as you know mine is fairly small and to do that as you can see I've got my sacrificial uh, piece of MDF at the bottom and I've put a small piece of uh, plywood just to give that angle uh, to the workpiece the drill bit needs to come down in the middle of this hole. So that's what we need to be careful of and that's how we need to set up our drilling. Right 
When it comes to the barrel nuts that we're going to use in this project, two of them, uh, we need them with the thread inside and that's for the threaded rod to work correctly and go through them. But we're also going to need the other two to have no thread and that's to allow the threaded rod to go through and move in and out freely. <laughs> In this next step, as you can see, I'm just cutting a notch in the two bars just to give them that specific look that the hand screw clamps do have. Okay then, so let's go very quickly through all the holes uh, that we actually made to both of the pieces. Now, um, as you can see, at the top of those, we've got a normal, a larger hole, elongated hole for, for the threaded rod to go through. Now, the hole over here, we're going to use a threaded rod. The barrel nut on this one will actually be drilled through so there is no thread on it and the reason we've made um, and the reason I've used the force nib as you seem to enlarge this hole and the one at the back as well is to block the threaded rod inside with a washer and a nut inside on both sides so the threaded rod just pins inside of this it's being held by the uh, barrel nut and the, the whole job that's being done is actually on the other side where the barrel nut has got the thread and the same thing needs to be done on the second jaw but this one's at the bottom and this one's at the top and again it's just on the other sides but i will show you how to put everything together later on in the video when these two jaws are beautifully sanded but the next job is to actually get some handles for the threaded rod and i'm going to be using the offput um, of the resin casting i had i don't have a lathe but we'll try to get a nice shape with the sander And now it's time for a bit of sanding. And now it's time to buff them out to get a fantastic finish.
to attach the uh, threaded rods to the handles, I'm just going to be using 5 minute epoxy. Right then, so it's time to assemble everything. So as you can see, I've got my two handles that will go in this position. Uh, these two are actually threaded and will go over there. Whereas these two have got no threads. And the holes over here and over here are bigger to accommodate the knots with the washers. Now, I'm actually going to be lazy here and I'm going to be using C8 glue to lock the um, knots in place in the right position so they don't actually spin and undo themselves usually what you would do you would just use uh, two knots like so so they're interlocked uh, together but unfortunately uh, well these clamps are really tiny so uh, making larger holes would just not be viable so i'm just going to be using c8 glue to lock them in place and that should work just fine so let's put everything together Okay, so the clamp is now put together. As you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. I will post a few photos at the end of this video, and obviously all the photos with great detail of all of this will be on my Instagram account. So if, you, uh, if you're if you not following me there, I'm going to drop a link down below. Go and check out my Instagram, because there will be some uh, really amazing photos with these really amazing looking clamps i think that's the best clamps i have ever seen in my life but do they work let's have a look and there you go they work fantastically i am more than happy how they turn out i think they look absolutely awesome um, but check them out, I'm going to show you in a bit great detail right now. Mm -hmm. 